add existing. And then just select both of those ones. They should be right there. If they're not, then look up your project. Okay? And then add them. They're in here. So, yeah. We got that. So, now we got to load them in the game. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a texture 2D, which is a texture or an image. Call it texture. And then. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to pass a reference to, to in order to load a texture. You need the content manager, so you need a reference to it. So that'll be another parameter in the player. We're gonna have a bazillion parameters over here. So content. Let me see here. We need to pass a reference to the content. There we go. So now we can access it. Watch when I go into Telesense. Ah, oh, see? That wasn't there before. So content. So we got content here. So we'll say texture equals content dot load. And then it's this little brackets means what kind. So it's a texture 2D. And then the name. So the name of this, if you click on it, it's player, asset name. So let's put player. Now, if you have folders and stuff like that, you have to put the full uh, location. So if it was in content, <coughs> content, and there was a folder called player folder, you'd have to put player folder forward slash player, so it knows where to look. So we got that. Now let's make a draw call. So we need sprite batch passed. Call it sprite batch. Sprite batch dot draw. And then we will use the texture. Um Okay, it'll be position, right? Uh, source, we'll call that null. We don't have a source rectangle. The color, color white. Rotation, zero. Origin. Now that is going to be exactly what we do with the rectangle. It's going to offset so the position's in the middle. So we'll just do new vector two. And we'll say texture dot height or dot width divided by two, then texture dot height divided by two. So the origin is offsetting the texture from the position. So it's going to be the actual position will be in the middle of the the player. Line everything up. We'll have less. Okay, scale. We'll just call it one. Sprite effects, we'll put none. We can flip it and stuff like that with that. If I can type. And then layer depth zero. And then we should be good. It might gripe about something. Um, I'm just going to put floats here. So it quits complaining about it. Um, yeah, so we have this. This will draw it. The update. The update's what's going to control the input. So let's put here keyboard. Oh, wait, keyboard state. Keyboard state. Equals keyboard dot get state. Now this is getting the 
this is getting what we're doing with the, the keys over here. So I'm going to make a couple ifs right here. If keyboard state dot get wait, is key down keys dot I like using AWSD so whatever you like. Okay. So I'm going to copy this. Just paste it for all our keys. So A is left. Might write a little nice comment right here. Um, we'll do W is up. And we'll call this D. Down. Or wait. I'm dumb. Right. <laughs> right. And then down, which is S. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to set the position to a new position when we uh, just to save time. Equals Uh, okay, so the position this won't affect y, so we'll put position dot x minus ten. So if we're moving left, x goes ten. Okay, so we'll put position dot y. We're not going to change the y value. So basically, what we're doing, we're telling set position right here to use the current position and minus 10 off of it and keep y the same so we'll do that So we're going to copy this and just paste it on all these the lazy way. Okay, so for W is up. So that's going to be minus 10 for Y. Um, D is right. So it's going to be plus 10 right here for the X, left to right. And then down is going to be plus 10 for down. And let's change this. Let's make a let's make a int uh, move speed. <clears throat> and let's so we don't have to change this anytime we want to adjust it. So I'm going to copy and paste it in here. So now we have this nice value we can change, and it's going to change all our move speeds. So basically, we got the the player class done. We haven't even done collisions yet, but we're going to. It's already been 23 minutes. Okay. So, player, we're in the game, which is our main object, and we made we made the player object. So, we're going to call this player. Okay, we're going to initialize it right here. Okay, player equals new player, and it's asking for the things that we dictated in there. So we're gonna say this dot content um, new position. We'll just call it. We'll just make it a hundred or two hundred by two hundred. That should work. And then we'll make it uh, the height. We'll make it uh, like 30, width 10. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so we'll do this. We'll say in the update, this automatically gets called. We'll say player dot update. And then in here, player dot draw. Okay. Nope, oh, I got errors. It's because there's no sprite batch. So, usually they add a sprite batch in here, which is right here. So, we'll take that. I'm just copying it. And we're going to say sprite batch dot begin. Or wait, wrong area. My bad. Inside here. Sprite batch dot begin. No parameters. We don't need them. Um take that and put it in here and then sprite back dot end now let's see how this code runs okay we got it it's a white block which kinda sucks so but it's working nice so let me stop it now we're gonna add some collisions here So, we're going to add a new class, call it collision block, or block, which will be in a block object, so we'll call it public. So let's do this the cheater way. Let's go into player and let's just copy all this code that we just sat down and wrote forever. Might as well not take, or, you know, make it wasteful. Okay, we're getting a whole bunch of errors, but we're going to rename this to block. That's important. Don't forget that. Oh, our interfaces, or our references. We need those, so let's go back into here. Just copy everything. Go into block. Nice. So, instead of using the player, we're just going to use block. And we don't need any input functions that's it that's basically the same exact thing all right except we don't have inputs so it's the same class we don't need this either but we might need an update later so we'll keep that okay so um What we're going to do, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Um, okay, for now, we're going to make a list of blocks. I'm just call it blocks. I'm just initialize it or construct it right there. So let's add some blocks. Oops. We'll call it so blocks dot add because it's a list. Uh, content. It's got the same uh, parameters. New vector two. Okay. We won't put anything in there for now. Uh, height, we'll make it a 25 by 25 block. Actually, since it's a square, well, that'll work for now. Okay. Now, I didn't add any vector in there, so it's 0, 0 right now, but we're going to do th that's because I want to copy and paste it. So we'll add a couple of these. And then we'll just add some random values, so but not too close to the player. So 10, 10. Uh, let's see here. 800 by 20. 